Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for May 16th through May 31st, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. First off, I just want to say we are right at 70,000 subscribers and I am just sending you my love and deepest gratitude. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting yourself really in your spiritual journey because if you weren't tuned in or tapped in in some way you wouldn't even be here so thank you for that and for those of you who don't know i am a master energy therapist and i specialize in distance energy healing and therapy so it doesn't matter where you live in the world i have clients all around the globe at this point which i am beyond grateful for this is my full-time work so uh, the link below has all the information on my website about the distance energy healing and therapy uh, you you can read the benefits, definitely check out the testimonials, and you will see that I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. It's a great time to be doing any sort of energy work, you know, on yourself while we kind of have this extra downtime and so much is changing around us and in the world and just with humanity as a whole. So the more you can do, uh, that kind of has a ripple effect and helps um, the greater good. So again, all the information is below as well as the link for the discount for 15% off. And I think that's it for Shop Talk. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for May 16th through the 31st, 2020. I've already fully shuffled, so let's just get straight into it. Okay, Virgo, first up we've got Queen of Wands. I'm actually feeling this is not your energy. So I think this is someone that you are dealing with or somebody new coming in for you, okay? But Queen of Wands can be a more feminine energy, whether male or female. This is a general reading, so um, nothing is gender specific. And, <coughs> excuse me, the Queen of Wands is really about receiving. So it's a much more... Um, like I said, feminine energy, really trusting this person is not going to go chase after things. It's just more about sitting in their power. They know what they want and allowing the universe to line things up or whatever to come for the connection. I've also got that with the moon card here. So the moon card is about our deeper hidden emotions or things that we haven't maybe dealt with yet. It could be fears and anxieties around love or around a relationship. I am, you know, tuning into Virgo with love um, when I'm shuffling. So it could be that this person that you're dealing with, you have some fears or maybe some doubts or there's just something unsettled within you that you haven't fully dealt with yet, okay? Um, but with the moon card, you know, the fears and anxieties on the surface, oftentimes underneath that is what you truly want and what you truly desire. So it's just a matter of working through the fears and working through the anxieties and seeing where they come from and where they're, you know, maybe triggered by. Um, and then next up, I've got the temperance card. So this is really beautiful. There's going to be like a healing or a balancing around, I feel for you, some of these deeper emotions, which Virgos, I mean, you guys are, can be quite deep. Your emotions run quite deep um, and taking the time to really tune in and sort that out can take some time for you. So the temperance card is really coming in here and I feel like bringing balance and healing. Um, it also can be the joining of, you know, in love, the joining of two souls coming back together. So to me, it can represent sometimes a reconciliation or a reconnect. But it's just what I'm mostly feeling here for you. There's something here around healing the deeper emotions within yourself. So if there's been a struggle there for you, I feel that's what you're having some support with, okay? Um, Moon card is also Cancer, so you could be dealing with a Cancer. Let me see what else I've got for you here. Two major arcana cards right off the bat. I mean, that, those are helping you to grow. It's about growth and transformation. Let me see what else I've got here. Wow, 
Okay. A lot of fire energy out here. I've got three more wands cards. So after the temperance, we've got the nine of uh, wands. So I feel this can be linked with the moon card. Some of that fear, some of, you know, afraid to get hurt, afraid to let the wall down, afraid to let somebody in again. And again, Virgo, this can be about you or this can be somebody that you're dealing with, but I, I am feeling this is more about you. And this temperance card is really coming in to help you kind of balance out and sort out whatever that is within you because I feel like it's stopping you. If you look at this nine of swords, this character here, there's no movement. It's almost like paralyzed by fear, right? Afraid to take any sort of action step. It's just all the energy is pulled in and very guarded here. But I feel you're healing that. I feel that's what this is coming in to help you with. Because after that, look at this, you've got the Page of Wands and the Four of Wands. So you're moving from all these heavy wands and guarded energy here. It's like you're dropping all the wands. You're getting focused on one wand, what you're passionate about, what inspires you, what makes your heart happy, and you're really wanting to move forward to commitment, to something solid. The Four of Wands energy is a card of commitment and it's a balanced, harmonious, beautiful relationship. Um, it, I feel, to me, in the Four of Wands, it really doesn't have any limits. It's like you could create whatever you want with this person that you're dealing with. And with the Queen of Wands, I feel, you know, that's the person that you're dealing with. You know, look at, it's like, here you guys are. I kind of feel you both have the same passion and desire and want for this, but there is some deeper healing, Virgo, that you've needed to clean up here. Maybe that's why I was feeling this Queen of Wands energy was taking zero action towards you. Wow, okay, yeah, definitely new beginnings for you, Virgo. So I've got Ace of Wands here with the Four of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. You are definitely on the verge of something new, a new beginning, a new relationship, um, and again, more Wands energy. So I feel like with all the Wands and the fire energy out here, that's going to be about you taking action. Maybe you've been stagnant or you haven't been taking any any steps, you know, like this character here. But I feel like maybe you're ready for that. It's lifting uh, because you don't want to miss an opportunity here. Four of Cups can be a little bit of like afraid to miss an opportunity. You've been too focused down here on, you know, the, the problem, the pain, the past, whatever it is for you, and you're missing this beautiful gift that the universe has. It's like right here in front of you. All you have to do, Virgo, is look up and see it. And I feel like you will see it because look, here you are, Page of Pentacles with your offer. Or this can be somebody offering to you. You know, with two pages here, this tells me that you're coming out of the dark within yourself. You're getting clear of what it is that you want. You may not be ready to come forward as that like King of Pentacles energy. You're coming forward as Page of Pentacles. You're ready to nurture something and put energy and effort into it and you're okay with it moving slow because this is the end result. This is where you're going, Virgo. And I feel the more clear you can get within these deeper emotions that maybe you've been afraid of, afraid of dealing with, afraid of feeling, you're guarded, you don't want to get hurt. It's so common, so many of us have and feel this, so you're not alone in that. But where your power is, is recognizing it, right? Because then you can drop all those wands and focus on, whoops, the wands that are important here, which are the ones of commitment and harmony and working together, working together as a team here with the temperance, two souls coming together. Beautiful, okay, let me see. Let me clarify a little bit here.
So to clarify the moon card, look at this, we've got the strength card. So yeah, you are growing with your inner strength and ability to be aware of what's stopping you. And maybe what's been holding you back. And the strength card is being compassionate with the self. It's trusting the feeling. It's getting out of the head and more into the body, into the heart, into the soul energy, which is peaceful and trusting. The only thing that stops us is the mind. I mean, the mind can be quite powerful. So um, I just feel, again, to clarify the moon card with the strength card means that you're working through this. And you've gotten, you've grown because of it. You've grown because of it with the strength card. And all that. So that's three major arcana cards right in a row there for you. Okay, let me see. So in clarifying the nine of wands, I've got the nine of pentacles. Okay, so you could be afraid of maybe the person that you're dealing with is quite strong and independent and that's a little bit scary for you. Maybe that's how you got hurt in the past. But I also feel you are ready to come out of feeling this nine of wands energy and be more strong and stable within yourself and not uh, with fear and not holding back. You're ready to like get things done. The nine of pentacles is a very self-sufficient energy. And card so you like I said you are shifting Virgo this is really amazing you're shifting out of maybe fear or holding back I feel like you're definitely coming into an action phase I mean we've got one two three four five cards of fire energy out here <laughs> so definitely gonna be taking action use the power of this new moon in Gemini on the 22nd to really launch you forward that could be what this Ace of Wands is, right? Getting back in touch with what it inspires you and excites you. Okay, so the last message for you is blessings. Beautiful. You have to be open to receive the blessings, and I feel that's what you're getting. You're kind of letting your guard down a little bit, Virgo, so you can move forward and grow and receive what you deserve. You deserve this. You deserve this. So I hope that resonates with you. Um, if not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, or your Jupiter. Um, thank you for the comments below the video. I love reading all your comments, so thanks for taking the time to do that. If you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist, and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. Doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. This is my full-time work for the last two and a half years now. So the link is below with all the information on the distance energy healing and therapy that I do. You can read about the benefits. Definitely check out the testimonials, and you will see I have a great 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So I hope that is helpful for you in some way. You can absolutely take advantage of that. Um, and like I said, all the info is below. So that's it, Virgo. I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of May, and I'll see you back here for the first half of June readings. Take care.